Hey guys, how you doing? Yet today I'm going to demonstrate this little antenna. Okay, it's a Moxon little rectangle folded dipole. And you're probably wondering, well, what is this? Okay, a little simple dipole, um, which together with this little guy. Is, uh, it's going to increase in power of this little PMR radio without breaking the law. Okay. So, okay, getting a bit of feedback through there. It's on channel one. Uh, okay, no feedback. Okay, no feedback whatsoever. Just to check that as TXing. Okay. So, it's a very very simple dipole to make and the results of this antenna are absolutely amazing okay so without modifying the radio at all we take the antenna okay just put it on the coil okay and it's quite secure okay and Okay, so as you can hear, we're now getting a, a bleed over signal. So, as you can see, that has in fact increased the power of this little PMR. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make one of these guys. Okay, so this is the one that's right on top of your existing PMR. Okay. Now, these can be made for any frequency, okay? I've gone for the same frequency last night. I put a little bit more effort. This was built out of a ordinary household uh, coat hanger. Not sure where you still get these, but somehow I've got a box of them. So, <laughs> okay, so uh, the extra tape on there was just for support. As these spacers at the end are just normal drinking straws from the biscuit cupboard. So okay, so there you go, same kind of principle as the coil antenna. Only instead of the coil, we have reverse the antenna. So the antenna would sit the same way as that, would be something like that. So this is the feed line here, through dipole. So there we go. Now this can be mo this can just be, be mounted just about anywhere. Um, just about do anything with there is a gaggy that you can make with these. It seems very interesting. We will come to that at a later stage. Of course there's a uh, double stacked like that and there's a uh, stacked like that and there's like that. So we have loads of options in what we can do with this dipole. Okay. So you're interested in making one of these little guys. One of these little guys for your uh what's this what channel we're on here? PMR, okay, that's uh, a little desk mic, shall we little thing out right into it. Okay so here we go, just a little kind of anode here. Okay. Now they are Moxon antenna, antenna calculators online. You, know, you can pick just by just by using your local search engine. Now, okay, so for this project, it's um, just zero five mil, point uh, five mil uh, electrical cable. Okay, so. The dipole itself, three elements. We've got two metals and uh, reflectors, okay. So PMR operation. It's it's clearly stating um which these are cut to length and ready to be built into 
a die foam. Okay. So that's the specifications here. Okay. Your A masker is is here. Okay. Is this is your A masker? Okay, which is two hundred and nineteen mil. Okay. Then you have a thirty three millimeter here. 0 0.5 mil gap there, so I'm not sure what way I'm going to do this. I have been using um, just cuts of sheath, uh, for example, of RG8. I don't know if you can see that, maybe a little bit better. So that's what I'm using on the ends, but I think for this 0 0.5 mil, I'll just be using a cutting, uh, a case cutting of this, placing it in. Maybe just wire a little bit of tape around it. Um, of course, the gap in there can be fixed to accommodate the type of coax or the type of connection that you can use. Here we go. BNC board mount. It has a uh, lot of mounting. Individual tags. So you could either have that like that. Or you could have it as feed through. Okay. I personally like it through. Too. Just gives it more more strength. As these little guys. This is just the same as you get on um, the dual, dual band handies. And of course there's these which you can lay it straight to perhaps a radio. So I think with this version, as it's going to go towards a dual stack or possibly even the Yagi or a quad stack, I will be using just a normal piece of coax. Okay. So when it's completed, it will be just something similar to this. Okay. Now I had this just sitting. Sorry. I had this sitting just on a little PMR. And the results are outstanding. So there you go. What a great little radio accessory. And of course, if you're not modifying the radio or modifying the antenna, you are in fact not breaking any laws. Okay. I'll just leave that here for you for a few seconds, guys. Also with this, this will come apart of this. And I've seen a lot of jobs out here, a lot of videos and uh, some have been using things like this. I mean this it's almost the size of the antenna and it just looks ridiculous. So we're going to see how we can get this recessed in. Also the battery compartment we may change that for an old kind of older type Omega or BT phone battery of sorts. So there you go guys, that's the the Moxon antenna. Small, easy, packs a punch for any frequency. And of course, it's a 50 ohm antenna. So it's just a case of wire and go. Now these can be wired in series, go phase, whatever way you want to wire these up, you want to do a Yagi out of these. I've seen some nice shaping Yagis, I mean, you can do some quad boxes, or it's totally up to you. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Thank you.